Hi, this is Mike from Mimaception Academy and in this video I want to show you how programs in Windows are protected against manipulation. In the second part I want to show you how you can calculate hash values of files in Windows. Okay, the Windows operating system consists of very many processes which are permanently running in the background. We as users can also start processes. For example, I have started the Microsoft Edge browser and the question is, how can you be sure that the integrity of this process has not been compromised? How can you be sure that this program on your PC has not been tampered with, for example, to capture your banking information? In Windows, there is a process called Task Manager and here all running processes of my Windows are displayed. Here is also the Browser Edge. And if I right click on a subtask, here is the option Open File Location. This option opens the Explorer with the path where the executable is which was started. In this file is the compiled source code that controls the behavior and all the functionalities of the browser. Let's have a look at the properties. And here exists the tab Digital Signature. This file is digitally signed by Microsoft. This signature ensures the integrity of the browser edge. And when you open the properties, this signature is checked. Let me open the details. And here in advanced, we can see more information about this signature. For example, we see here the issuer, which is Microsoft itself. And here we also see the hash and the signature also written. What happens now if I manipulate this file? Viruses or Trojans often infect executables. And as soon as this application is started, the Trojans becomes active as well. If this is the case, then the signature must be invalid. And such a manipulation I will do now. I copy this file and open it with a hex editor. This program shows me the complete content of the file. We see here three columns. On the left is the file position. In the middle are the actual values in bytes. And on the right side we see the interpretation of the bytes in NZ. So here the program tries to display the bytes in text form. Of course, these are not all texts, which is why it looks mostly very mysterious here. The hex editor is a great tool if you want to manipulate files, for example. For me, I can change a D to an M. I save the file. If I now open the properties of the file again, and display the signature information, then it shows me here that the signature is not valid. This means that after the manufacturer signed this file, it was modified. So the digital signature of applications in Windows is a good way to check their integrity. Unfortunately, not all applications are signed. Okay, next I want to show you how you can calculate hash values over files with the Windows tool Third Util. When you download applications from the internet, the manufacturer often displays hash values of the applications. 
A hash value is a unique fingerprint and the manufacturers use these to make sure that their applications have not been manipulated. Here, for example, I have the setup file of the Keystore Explorer. With this application, you can create key material for the encryption. And here at the download, I also get the hash value of the file for SHA-256. I will download this file. Okay, here is the file and now I want to check if the displayed hash value is still correct. To do this, I go to the Windows icon and type CMD. The application command prompt is displayed. I will start this application. Now we see a black window. On the command prompt, I can also start tools that have no windows. On the console, I have to enter the name and the parameters of such tools. The tool SirdUtil is for example such an application. I simply enter SirdUtil dash hash file. With the parameter hash file, I can specify the file over which the hash value should be calculated. So after that, I enter a space and now I have to specify the path of the setup file from Keystore Explorer. A little trick. I can simply drag the file from the Explorer into the console and it will automatically write the complete path of the file. Finally, the parameter which has all the WIFM should be used. Here I enter SHA-256. After that, I press enter. The program calculates now the hash value over this file and the result is shown in the console. At last, I have to compare both hash values. So the displayed hash value from the website with the calculated hash value from the console. And both values are identical. That means the integrity of the setup file is fine. So I have the original version of the file from the manufacturer and I can start the program. You can display the hash algorithms that are supported by the program. So I enter third util space dash hash file space dash question mark. Instead of the file name, I type a dash and then question mark. I press enter. Now we see here all the options that are possible. And here are the hash algorithms which are supported. For example, if I need the hash value from the algorithm SHA-512, then I have to specify that as the last parameter. I take the last call, little trick, in the command prompt, I can use the arrow up button to show me the last calls. I replace SHA-256 with SHA-512. I press enter. Now we see here the calculated value after SHA-512. This value is of course much longer, there are 64 bytes here. With SHA-256, it was 32 bytes. Okay, that finishes this exercise for me. I showed you how to view the digital signature of programs in Windows. Unfortunately, not all programs are digitally signed. But those that have a signature, its integrity is checked by Windows and you can see the result in the properties. After that, I showed you the tool SirdUtil and how you can use it to calculate hash values over files. You have the possibility to calculate the hash value over your own files. And with this, you can secure the integrity of your files.